just look for their weakness. Persona 5 is a hefty time sink of a game, with dozens of gameplay mechanics to master, characters to meet, books to read, jobs to do, and of course, shadows to defeat. My first playthrough clocked in at over 80 hours, but in order to get that sweet, sweet platinum, I'm gonna need to hit that new game plus mode and hit it hard. For more Persona 5 goodness, make sure you like this video and subscribe to GameSpot's YouTube channel for all the latest, including my video review and John Luke's awesome History of Persona video. If you're a fan of the franchise, you should definitely put time aside for that one. So while I'm trophy hunting and to help you on your playthrough, here are nine things I wish I knew before I started playing Persona 5. There are various ways to boost your stats, part-time jobs, hanging with friends, and extracurricular activities. For a quick bump, head to the underground walkway in Shibuya Station on Sundays. At the juice stand, you can buy a special fruit juice, which gives you points in a different stat every week. A super useful way to get a couple of extra points without having to dedicate time to an activity. When you boot up the game, you'll be prompted to connect to the Thieves Guild. Do it! It's a super, super useful tool. It offers loads of helpful snippets. If you're wondering what level you should be to tackle a specific boss, or you just want to compare your actions against others, then with a press of the touchpad, you can see what other players are up to. But the best reason to connect? If you're stuck in class and you're stumped on a question, your pals at the Thieves Guild have your back. It's basically ask the audience from who wants to be a millionaire. But please note this doesn't work during exam season, because cheating on exams is bad, okay? <laughs> That's it. Making friends is important, not only in life, but in Persona 5 especially. The closer you are to your allies, the more they'll watch your back in battle. Make nice with Kawakami and she'll let you slack off in class, meaning you can spend that time doing something more useful, like reading a book or sleeping. Spend time with Hifumi and she'll teach you some awesome shogi moves that you can apply in the metaverse. Make sure to put the time in to strengthen these bonds. Or if you don't want to put the time in, once you reach rank 7 with the fortune teller, you can pay her 5,000 yen to boost the amount of co-op points you get each time you hang out with a confidant, meaning you'll be hitting max rank with min effort. You can also do this with stats and money. Who said fortune tellers were full of crap? Not really a tip as much as a reminder of the tutorial menu that pops up on the screen at the beginning of the game, but Persona 5 added auto recover. Game changer! No longer after fights are you trawling through menus to use Dia to heal everyone up. Just tap square as you're running around palaces and Bob's your uncle. Everyone's gonna be topped up and ready to party. Lockpicks are imported because palaces are literally full of chests, right for the taking. But once the treasure has been taken from the palace, the palace collapses, meaning that that chest you missed is gone forever. Spend your evenings crafting lockpicks, which also ups your proficiency stat, and make the unbreakable lockpick as soon as possible. You need aluminium sheet and liquid mercury, which you can usually find on the floor in Mementos. As in real life, reading books is a great way of improving your characteristics and learning about the city you live in. Head to the bookstore in Central Street and you'll be greeted with a selection of books and magazines to buy, and each of them will improve a different stat. There are also books dedicated to uncovering new places in the city that you can travel to when hanging out with friends. Once you've read about a new place, it'll be added to the map. And depending on who you choose to hang out with, you could improve your confidant rank quicker, handy for when you're wooing your waifu or husbando. There's a lot of traveling on the subway in Persona 5, and if you've got a book to hand, you can spend that time improving your stats. Try and always have something new to read to make the best use of this time. Your third eye ability is super useful when solving puzzles, as it highlights key items or footprints in blue. Tap the left trigger and you'll see things glow gold. That means there's something worth taking. You're a phantom thief after all. Once you've liberated that item from the palace in which you found it, you can then sell it in the real world for mega yen, with no questions asked. You should be grateful. Save yourself some bother in battle by using combos to make easy work of shadows. If an enemy is burning, follow up with a wind attack to fan those flames. You're mine. 
Or if they're burned, shocked, or frozen, follow up with a nuclear ability. If an enemy is asleep, they'll be using that time to replenish SP and use more abilities on you. Don't give them that opportunity. Give them a whack across the chops for a technical hit that deals more damage. The many, and I mean many, levels of mementos can be daunting, but honestly, it's a great place to grind, so don't ignore it. If you want to make things easier for yourself, pay attention to the weather. If there's a heat wave, some of the enemies may be inflicted with a burning status effect that chips away at their health. If there's a high pollen count, they'll be sleepy and less inclined to attack you. Use this time to speed through levels and reach the depths. Okay, bonus tip. If you buy the old TV from the second-hand store in the back streets, you get a used DVD player thrown in for free. You can rent DVDs from the Scarlet store on Central Street, and here's a cheeky hint. You can keep those DVDs for as long as you like. You're threatened with a late fee, but for some reason the game waves it every time you take an overdue DVD back. This never would have happened at Blockbuster, but it's a nifty little exploit I discovered nonetheless. So there were nine and a half things I wish I knew before I started playing Persona 5. Any other tips? Check them in the comments below or come find me on Twitter. I'm at Lucy James Games. For more on Persona 5, make sure to like this video and subscribe to GameSpot. Good work, everyone.